Will you go out on a limb to supersize your business? Sharon Hornells from here. And our idiom, our expression today is out on a limb. This is one of those original or <clears throat> idioms or expressions that has been around since the beginning of time. It refers to people climbing trees or animal climbing, tr climbing trees, which has been happening since humans and animals have been around, right? People would climb trees to get a better view of things so they could see further along. Animals would climb on trees to escape predators. And sometimes they would get stuck up there, right? Sometimes you get out really, really far on a limb. Oh, I lost my gal. <clears throat> I love having a granddaughter. Not sure I mentioned that. And now I dropped the doll. But sometimes you go way out on the edge of the limb and you get afraid. You get, it's scared to get, to get back in. Um, you know, we see all these scenes of cats being rescued from trees by firemen. I mean, I, I think everybody's seen a picture of that or a scene of that on television throughout our lifetimes. Maybe not, but it used to be a popular scene in television. So being out on a limb, what does it have to do with growing and building and supersizing our businesses? Well, actually a lot. If you're not willing to go out on a limb, if you're not willing to stand up for what you believe in, if you're not willing to stand up for people or go after your dream or continually improve or be yourself or take action or investigate or take risks, it's pretty hard to start and have and run and your own successful business. Uh, anybody that's that's run a business, started a business, knows it's uncertain what's going to happen. We have to leave our comfort zone. So often we spend the majority of our lives living in a little sphere or a little circle of comfort. We call that our comfort zone. In there, we're in our little happy place. Everything is fine. We don't take a lot of risks. We don't step out of our comfort zone. We don't do anything that makes us feel different or awkward or uncomfortable. But going out on a limb is all about being awkward and uncomfortable, putting ourselves in difficult situations, being willing to take risks, being vulnerable. Lots of us don't want to feel vulnerable ever. Brene Brown wrote a whole book on vulnerability and did, I don't know, a decade or more of studies on vulnerability before she wrote that book. Uh, so how do we go out on a limb? Number one, are you willing to go out on a limb? Are you willing to step out of your comfort zone? Are you willing to take some risks? And then if you are, what can you do to make sure that you're not just diving off the edge of a cliff and that you're making calculated risks, that you're stretching your comfort zone, not just busting right out of it, although busting right out of it is bound to get you different and better and more dramatic results than just eking out of the little edges and pushing the edges of it. Well, some of the things I think are important are when it comes to risk, we, we want to get the information as quickly as we possibly can to make a decision. Those who make fast decisions are more successful in business than those that commiserate and procrastinate and investigate things to death. But we should always be investigating. We should always be asking questions. We should always be researching, be curious, be looking for answers and looking for information about whatever it is that we want to do. Uh, so that investigation should be just and research and due diligence should be a continuous part of your being and your process. You're just always doing it or you're hiring somebody to do it for you. Uh, one of my mentors says, uh, the more you investigate, the less you have to invest. However, you have to pull the trigger and take action and do things or all the investigation in the world isn't going to mean anything. You'll investigate yourself right out of ever taking any opportunities. So we have to be willing to have a risk and reward balance in our being that will allow us to take risks. It will allow us to say yes to things even though we don't have all the information. Will some of our, our actions be wrong and in the wrong direction and we'll make mistakes? Absolutely, positively. Will we fail miserably at certain things that we try? Absolutely. Been there, done that. We all have been. We don't succeed at everything we try. Think about, it might be a long time for some of us, back to when you started to learn how to walk or ride a bike or play a new sport or do a new hobby or study anything. Were you awesome at it the first time you tried it? I'm going to bet 99.9% .9 plus of the time we weren't. And we still, there was something about it that appealed to us, so we decided we would keep putting forth effort toward that thing. We do more and try more and practice till we got good at it. But at first it was a risk. It's a risk. Am I going to look foolish? Am I going to be embarrassed? But does it really matter? No, because everybody else on the planet is doing the same thing simultaneously. We're all stepping out of our comfort zone. We're all trying new things. We're all taking a risk. But really, is it a risk or is it just something that we're imagining to be a risk? Uh, 
So we need to step out of our comfort zone. We need to investigate. We need to be consistently doing due diligence. We need to take action. We need to make decisions. And we need to create our own business. You know, they say you're either working to create your own dream or someone else's dream. The same is true of our businesses. We are either working to build and create our own business or we're going to end up building someone else's. Maybe we do all this legwork, all this investigation, only to find out that someone else has a similar idea and runs with the idea and takes action faster than we do. There is a competitive advantage to being the first to market. Uh, so what else do you need to do? You need to be continually improving. And by continually improving, I mean stretching your comfort zone, growing, becoming who it is you're here to be. Why? So that you can continue to serve the people that you're here to serve in better and better and better ways. We have to stretch our comfort zone and continually improve so that we can solve problems better for the people we're here to serve. So that we can be the solution and provide products and services that help them to expand their life and their comfort zone and make things better for them. Uh, we want to be consistent. We want to show up. We want people to know what we stand for. This is a lot of we, right? Who are we? What are we all about? Our business. What is it? What is it all about? Why does it exist? Who is it here to serve? All those core questions have to be answered as we're going out on the limb. And guess what? As we're answering those questions, as we're building the foundation for our business, that limb is getting thicker and thicker and stronger and stronger. And all of a sudden, we aren't out at the end of the limb. We're on a great big oak tree with a solid foundation, a, a 300 year old tree. Have you ever seen one of those or one of those giant redwoods in the redwood forests? We're on, we're out on a limb on that. And so we're not afraid anymore because we know what we're doing. We've got the experience and we've, we've done it. We've actually done it. So many people tell us how to do things that they've never done, which is super duper frustrating. Um, but are you willing to go out on a limb? I would love to know your experience with this particular idiom. Share in the comments below. I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting business-related idiom. We're doing 50 days of business-related idioms to supersize and grow our business. Uh, some of them are different ways of saying the same thing, which is okay because we are all different and what relates to me might not relate to you. So we want to have different ways of saying different things. Love to know your experience with being out on a limb. I know I've put myself out there a lot and been out on a limb. Sometimes the limb has broken and I have fallen to the ground, but I've always dusted myself up and gotten up again. Uh, sometimes it takes a little longer than others, but that's how we create the life we want is by living and experiencing different things. Have an absolutely amazing day. I'll be with you tomorrow. Bye.